Thompson is more relevant than ever today because he bridged between all these different areas of knowledge and also between all cultures of the world. He was interested and passionate about all of human history, all of human knowledge. His work has proved to be relevant, has been so influential in so many different ways and uh, both directly and indirectly has really shaped a huge number of, of things that we now take for granted today. Darcy is most famous for his book on growth and form, which continues to be influential in a wide variety of fields today, from plastic surgery to musicology. Jackson Pollock was known to have a copy, and the Sydney Opera House architect made all his employees read it. Um, and so this is what Darcy Thompson recognises, that there are physical laws that constrain evolution. So the, a good analogy is in bridge building. All stone bridges look quite similar because they have to conform to a certain, a certain set of physical laws. And the same applies to animals, to the building of their bodies. So big animals like dinosaurs um, had to have certain shapes and sizes of spine to support their, their enormous bodies. During his research and writing, Darcy worked as a professor for 63 years. Darcy started as a biology chair at the University of Dundee at age 24, and 32 years later started at the University of St. Andrews as the chair of natural history, where he worked until he was 87 years old. Darcy very quickly acquired a reputation as a very entertaining and erudite and increasingly eccentric teacher. Particularly he was known for using all sorts of bizarre props. He always wore this enormous great coat and he would come in with bits of string and soap bubbles and all sorts of different things that he would use to demonstrate. I think he always ultimately wanted to have a, a professorship at Cambridge. But apparently he came down to breakfast in his college in his pyjamas one morning and that ruled out any prospect of ever becoming a <laughs> professor <laughs> at Cambridge. He also built two museums, the Darcy Thompson Zoology Museum in Dundee and the Bell Pedigree Museum in St Andrews. Darcy collected his various specimens from a variety of different ways, one of the main ones being that Dundee was the major centre of the whaling industry at that time. So he was able to make friends with the whaling captains, persuade them to bring back specimens for him, and someone met Darcy Thompson at Lucas Station, and all the students used to ride on this, and it was packed, it was like a Tudor London subway train. Um, so he'd arrived there with all his luggage, and he was stood on the, he was clambering off the, the train with all his luggage, and he, he met a friend and said, oh, Darcy, how are you? He said, oh, that's, that's the worst part of the journey over. Um, he said, oh, where are you going? <laughs> He's at Bombay. <laughs> So he was on his way to Bombay to collect, but the worst part of the journey was the, the train journey from St Andrews to Lucas, which is about five minutes. So this spider crab is one of three that Darcy acquired uh, while he was on his Bering Sea expedition in 1897. Uh, he went by Japan and uh, his good friend, the professor of biology at Tokyo University, uh, took him to the fish market at Yokohama uh, and said he could have anything he wanted as a present, <laughs> probably thinking he would acquire something quite small. Uh, but instead he said, oh, I'll have these three enormous spider crabs, please. And uh, so they were brought home in a barrel. And then this is the original case that Darcy had it displayed in. And it was really during the later part of his life that he was given all sorts of honours, various honorary degrees, various prizes and medals. Uh, he was president of various notable bodies. And really he became quite a well-known figure in St Andrews, an increasingly eccentric character, famous for wandering around the town with a parrot on his shoulder. And he really became very well-known and well-loved. Uh, Darcy died in 1948 and he's buried in Edinburgh.